Scientists are continually amazed by the creative power of sexual selection and by its ability to transform male physiology. That strange noise is a serenade, a love call. It's produced by a mannequin, a little rainforest bird the size of a sparrow. If a male mannequin hopes to breed, he has to make a very unbird-like sound. And he does it in a way unlike any other bird. Kim Mostwick is an ornithologist at Cornell University. She filmed male mannequins using high-speed video to see just how they make that sound. And she discovered something astounding. This little bird doesn't look like he's doing much. Leans forward and he flicks his wings, but out comes this sound. If it was just his voice, it would be not very interesting. But the fact that the mouth is closed and this tone is coming out, that's what's really exciting. As the bird displays, only his wings are moving. Somehow, the mannequin is using his wings as a musical instrument, beating them together 100 times a second to create that high-pitched hum. That seems pretty far-fetched. Hummingbirds beat their wings about 50 to 75 cycles a second. This bird is going at about 100 cycles a second. So it's faster than hummingbirds, it's faster than rattlesnakes. These are extremely fast motions. Kim wanted to know exactly how mannequins manage this trick. So she examined the wings more closely. I was looking at these feathers knowing that they had something to do with the secret of how this bird was making it sound, but not sure exactly what. Then she noticed that one wing feather has ridges, while a neighboring feather has a curved tip. We know that that bird is moving its wing back and forth, and what's going to happen is they're going to come and knock together over and over again. But these two feathers are going to interact in a very special way. As the male mannequin knocks his wings together, the feathers act like a spoon and washboard. They generate vibrations at just the right frequency to attract a female. It was an astonishing discovery. But Kim decided to take her analysis one step further to find out how the wings could support such high-speed movement. She ordered up a CT scan. No one had ever examined a mannequin's skeleton before. And Kim could see right away that this bird's wing bones were supersized. If you're used to looking at skeletons, you'll immediately be blown away. I expected the ulna, which is this bone on me and this bone on this specimen, to look the same size and shape as the bird's femur. You can see that this is a massive bone compared to what it should be. It's four times wider in diameter. And you can see it's a very odd shaped bone. If you've eaten a chicken wing, you should know what this bone should look like. It should be smooth, columnar, but it has these amazing grooves and bumps on it. Those grooves and bumps provide support for the wings, allowing them to move at high speed. To make it even stronger, the wing bone is also very dense. This was totally jaw-dropping. Every ornithologist knows that birds have hollow bones. It's just, it's part of what defines a bird as a bird. They're hollow because they need to fly and they need to lighten up their skeleton. Not only is it not hollow, it is solid and it's more dense on the inside than on the outside. The wings of the male mannequin evolved so that he can create the perfect pitch, precisely the sound the female is looking for in a prospective mate. We usually think that in sexual selection, it's going to modify the superficial parts of you. Beauty is only skin deep. That's where that saying comes from. Instead, it permeates this bird's biology. In order to attract a female with a sound so that he can mate and pass on his genes to future generations. And that's what sexual selection can do to you.